All right, you remember when you were a kid and you'd camp in your own backyard like an idiot? Well, I do because I did it all the time. But it wasn't in my backyard. We would always camp out behind my next door neighbor Michael's house instead. And one night in particular, we pitched a tent in his backyard and we were all set to experience the wild, wild wilderness of a northwestern Ohio neighborhood. Now, this little camping trip sucked ass for a couple of reasons. For one, the only thing Michael brought to eat was a goddamn box of croutons. And for two, the only game that we had to play was the game Guess Who? And playing Guess Who with Michael sucked ass because he'd always ask stupid questions all the time. Um, does your person look like my Uncle Bob? Michael, I never met your Uncle Bob. How the hell should I know? Oh, okay. Um, uh, is your person Jewish? So after a few hours of eating croutons and me absolutely destroying Michael at Guess Who, we go to sleep. But we don't sleep for long because all of a sudden, something starts rummaging outside in Michael's backyard. Now, us being dumbass, vulnerable children, we were a little apprehensive. Michael, go out there and see if there's like a kidnapper out there trying to have their way with us. Why do I have to do it? Because nobody's gonna be able to tolerate your ass long enough to kidnap you in the first place, that's why. Oh, okay, good point. So Michael goes out there to investigate. Meanwhile, I'm in the tent listening for sounds of Michael being murdered in case I have to make a clean getaway. All of a sudden, Michael leaps back into the tent and starts freaking out. There's a wolverine in our garbage can. There's a what? A goddamn wolverine, and it's super pissed off. Michael, there is not a wolverine in your garbage can. Wolverines live in like Alaska or some shit. I stick my head out of the tent to try to see what the hell Michael's babbling about, but it's like 10 o'clock at night and I can't see a damn thing. I got an idea. Maybe if I make animal noises, it'll scare it off. Michael, what the fuck kind of animal noise is that? It's a wolverine. That's what wolverines sound like, isn't it? There's probably people walking down the street and shit. Oh, what the hell is that, a wolverine? I thought those things were in, like, Alaska or some shit. So now we both decide to venture outside to see what's going on. And I'm not gonna lie, part of me was like, what if, what dumbass, if dumbass Michael's right? right? What if what somehow a wolverine, wolverine prances his ass all the way down from Alaska just to murder us in our sleep? Uh, maybe we should grab something to protect ourselves. You know, just in case. So there we are, grabbing whatever we can find in Michael's backyard. Michael's over there with a wiffle ball bat. I got a goddamn Undertaker action figure to defend myself. We get closer to the garbage cans, and we figure out that it is indeed not a wolverine. It's a goddamn possum. I'm a possum. Ah, oh, sick! Michael, that's a goddamn possum, not a wolverine! So I huck this Undertaker action figure at it like it's a goddamn throwing knife. It bounces off the garbage can, and that really pisses the possum off, so it starts flying at us like a goddamn Ninja Turtle. I dive my ass back in the tent like I'm in a Jason Statham movie, but Michael's ass decides to run into his house instead, like the big wuss that he is. So there I am, sitting in a tent with a goddamn crouton box. Surely Michael's not gonna leave me out here and let that possum have its way with me, but that's exactly what Michael's ass did. So 20 minutes go by, and I'm like, oh, to hell with it. I'm just gonna have to make a break for it to Michael's house. I peek out of the tent. I'm all nervous and shit. Hell, I don't even have the Undertaker with me for protection. Now I'm armed with a fucking box of croutons of all things. So there I am, running through Michael's backyard like it's the goddamn beaches of Normandy. I go through Michael's back door and into his kitchen, and I think I'm in the clear. That is, until I realize Michael's stepdad's in his underwear getting a beer out of the fridge. Oh, sick, he's wearing whitey tighties for Christ's sake. What the hell are you looking at? And what the hell are you doing with our box of croutons? What are we, feeding the whole goddamn neighborhood? So after being thrown threatened by a possum and seeing a grown man in his underwear, I decide that I've had enough for the night and I take my ass home. The next day, I go up to Michael like, dude, thanks for abandoning me in your backyard with nothing to defend myself but a fucking box of bread. Well, what did you want me to do? There was a goddamn wolverine in the garbage. Michael, it was not a wolverine. Yes, it was. It was a wolverine and it was going tra la 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 la. God damn it, Michael. For the last time, it was a possum, not a wolverine. Wolverines live in Alaska and they sure as hell don't go tra la 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 la. Hey, have you guys seen a wolverine around here? I swear I keep hearing a fucking Wolverine. BruceDude.com Thanks for watching, everybody. Just a quick reminder, the Michael Stepdad plush toys will only be available for purchase until this Friday. So if you want to help support the channel, or if you just want to have your very own stepdad instead, go check them out at the link in the description of this video.